This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit noragon.com to learn more. All right. Consider the technician shortage solved. What do you mean? Check this out. Okay. <clears throat> what, uh, who's this? Well, this is David, our new applicant. Well, what kind of, what kind of, uh, like, experience does he have? Oh, well, none. Um, but he is good at Skyrim parkour and can make minute rice in 57 seconds. Oh, it, impressive. Mm -hmm. So I should give him a call? No, you should not give him a call. Like, look, I, look, I appreciate it. We're hurting for technicians right now. They're hard to find. It's hard to find skilled technicians, but we can't just take any Joe Schmo. I mean, parkour, Skyrim, I don't know what those are. Are those skills? Are those, are those places? Are they things? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's important that we have to have qualified truck service technicians. Otherwise, the shop just couldn't be, it wouldn't be safe. We can't just bring someone in and, and they, they got to have some experience and know what's going on and, and we can help them along a little bit. Okay, so you're saying we're recruiting to retain. Yeah. Okay, well, if that's the case, then maybe we should up the training that we do. Well, yeah, no, I, I get where you're going, and I like where you're at, but what is that thing you kids say, the GIF, right? You know that GIF I'm talking about where it's like, why not both? That's a GIF. Yeah, well, whatever. You, my point is we probably should do both. Hi everyone, and welcome to FE's Data Center, the series that aims to make truck data approachable. I'm Tess. And I'm Jason. The correct set of tools and equipment will help your technicians perform to the best of their ability and provide them with the opportunity for continued improvement. But even the newest tools and best equipment can't be a standalone solution to recruiting and retaining a team of talented technicians. That's where you come in. If you're a fleet owner, recruiting and retaining technicians continues to be an uphill battle. When it comes to the team you already have, ongoing courses will further familiarize them with the repair process and best practices for maintenance. If you're in the market for new technicians, however, remember that beggars can't be choosers. While there are some fundamental requirements for successful technicians, attitude, aptitude, and a willingness to learn are additionally important characteristics you need to look for in prospective employees. This means a long list of demands and requirements for applicants may be what's deterring some from even inquiring about a position. Thus, we circle back to the importance of training. Hands-on courses and trial programs for recruitment efforts can show you more about an applicant's abilities than any resume ever could. Quality tools can further support technician efficiency by providing a rapid turnaround of information. The prompt presentation of diagnostics and pertinent service information will allow them to execute better repairs. Because many of the tools used in the shop undergo updates that include expanded coverage and additional features anyway, ongoing training allows for everyone to be on the same page, new or not and is important for the functionality of your repair process, since things in the industry are always changing. That's true. Maybe we should turn to our friends at Noragon for some updated training tips we can provide our technicians. So my tips and advice on training is to take as much advantage of employer offer training as you can. Uh, if you're an OE level uh, dealer technician, uh, it's important for you to keep up with changes occurring within your brand. Uh, if you're an aftermarket technician, um, Third-party training is essential to learn new tricks of the trade. Um, if there are training classes that fall outside of your normal employer training path, um, sometimes they may sponsor you to attend and share the experience with the shop afterwards. Um, and then learning from experienced techs that you have in the shop. Often those technicians have extremely diverse skill sets um, and tips and tricks that you may not be aware of. Um, lastly, keeping an open mind. You may understand something one way, but something or someone may come to challenge that understanding. And so at that point, you need to decide which one is the more correct path. Well, it looks like we have some new tips to share with our technicians. We might not be able to stop the shortage, but we can train up the team we already have. Thanks for watching, everyone.